<laughs> An elephant could not live here. So is she watching or is she looking away? Uh, the role of the child life specialist is to help to ensure that children and families are comfortable while they're here in the hospital, really helping to reduce a lot of the stress and anxiety associated with hospitalization. So a child life specialist might be found providing uh, preparation for a procedure, helping uh, to normalize the hospital experience by providing play opportunities for kids. <laughs> Playtime is so important for kids when they're here in the hospital because it's the one thing that can be seen as a normal thing. Well, the hospital can be somewhat of a frightening experience for adults and especially for children. And we know now that children really want information about their illness. Doing a great job, Ducky. One technique that child life specialists use is um, something called medical play, where kids are given the opportunity to sometimes to use a, a blank cloth doll. No, and using this, they're able to become more familiar with the medical equipment, whether they're starting an IV on the doll or um, using a stethoscope to listen to the doll, just like the nurses and doctors have done to them. Using those dolls no. and real medical equipment, we can learn from the child what's their biggest worry. What's really gonna bug them that day? And if it's important to the child, it's important to the healthcare team. Child life specialists are an integral part of the medical team. And it is now the standard of care in pediatrics to have emotional support be part of the team discussion. Our team together really does help to make the whole package for families here in the hospital. Hey everybody and welcome back. This is our third round of hospital bingo today. Every child who comes here, they know Wednesday afternoon, it's bingo day, doctors don't talk to them, don't schedule procedures, it's bingo time. It's extraordinary. I mean, it's such a valuable resource. Hospital Bingo is our centerpiece show. It's um, what I would call perfect. So what we do is, as I describe the piece and they look for it on their board, um, we talk a little bit about the function and the use of each piece of equipment and surgical gown. This is worn by hospital staff. So there are a variety of ways that kids can be involved in bingo. We actually play the live feed in a playroom. So kids are there watching as I'm hosting. So that's one experience. There's also a great thing that they can play from their bedside. You just flip onto channel 60. You have a, a phone by your bedside and you can just call in and play that way just by calling the number in the teen room. And there's somebody else on the phone. Hi, this is Bingo. Michelle. Bingo is also very popular because we have wonderful donors in the community who um, donate money or give prizes that we actually give out. Every child that plays gets a prize. So we have an average of about 75 kids that play for, per week and sometimes they can win multiple times. We play three rounds so it's a lot of prizes. I can't imagine what the hospital experience would be without child life. When she sits in her room, she's unhappy, you know, there's nothing to do. She feels sick, she feels terrible, and you have things to look forward to with child life. It gives you some structure to your day when you're in this place and it's sort of endless days of unhappiness in a way, and child life brings you happiness. There it is. It is my vision that there will be a time when wherever a child interfaces with Johns Hopkins Medicine, there is a child life specialist there to help them prepare for the difficult experiences they might have. We're not quite there yet, and we really need partners in the community to help us get there. It's essential to making a child well. You can't just give them medicine and injections and needles. You have to give them love to help them heal. Child life does that. 